Hi guys, um, we have a little project we're going to work on here. This is my 24 inch Rockford hydraulic shaper. And what we got up here, uh, we got this milling vise. I got it clamped in upside down in the shaper vise. I got a jack there. And there's another jack back there. This was pretty hard to get set up. But what the deal is, uh, this vise I got sometime. I can't remember when. But anyway, it was busted in two right through here. And you can see you can see the bronze there and there and over there where it's been where I welded it back together. Well, I never surfaced this. So I decided I'm going to restore this vise. And I'm going to do this bottom surface first in the shaper. And then I get it done in here. Then it's going out to the horizontal boring mill and we'll do the other side in the boring mill. Anyway, this vise, it's pretty good size. It has like 8 inch jaws. So I'm going to, I'm basically just restoring it and it's, it's going to go on this, this old Milwaukee I got here, which I've been restoring too. This is a, a number 3B plane, Carney and Tracker, Milwaukee. And I don't know, it's, it's old. You see there's that big pulley there. That could have been ran with either a line shaft or an electric motor. This one is set up for an electric motor. But anyway, I'm going to redo that vise, and then that vise is going to go on this machine. Alright, let's go back here to the shaper. And I'll tell you a little bit about what I did. Uh, to get This was a lot of fun to get set up. Uh, I didn't have my tool holder in here, so I could take my... Uh, dial indicator and I had it mounted up on here and then I could I could run this in and out along there and I got that zeroed out and then I could bring it up to this area and I ran it back and forth this way and I got it zeroed up that way now it's it is off it's low here in the middle Oh, somewhere between 10 to 15 thousandths. So we want to get this trued up so we have a good flat surface. And I have my tool holder in there. And if you see the clapper box there, how it's set up. So now as, as the tool is coming backwards, this should make the cutter lift up up and away from the cut see and we'll be running the the vise will be going this way so as it comes back this will lift it up 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 and out of the way and then uh, also what I did this is just a little instruction sheet uh, just a piece of paper but it's thin so I stuck this underneath of the of the uh, tool bit and brought the uh, box the, the tool down till it just touched. So that's how I'm going to start setting it up. And uh, so anyway, that's kind of what I did. It took me a long time to get that thing set in there, but I finally got it. So anyway, I'll uh, see if I can get this started and. And show it do you show you some shaper action. Well we started making some cuts here. If you watch on your lower right, you'll see a handle move. That's the advancement of the table. Every time it goes back, it'll advance the cut in. So, I think I'm about 10 or 12 thousandths right now.
like I say, this is a hydraulic shaper, so your uh, selection of feeds is quite infinite. I mean, you can get anything you want. And I've had it down to two or three thousand. So let's go see how it's cutting. This is my first pass. And you see right here, you got a little dark spot. So it's not quite cleaning up real good yet. So we'll finish with this pass. And then we'll have to get, we'll just have to take another pass. That's all you can do. I hope I can get you a good shot of the cutter. Here it's coming at you. Now to adjust the stroke on this machine, see these knobs? There's one there, one back there if I can catch up with it. both knobs. Okay, you use those two knobs uh, to adjust your stroke on the machine. And it flips a, a valve in there and makes it rotate, go forward and backwards. Of the long cuts here. 
about done. So I'll give you some more shots here. I'll try to anyway. I don't know how long that vise is. It's, it might be 18 inches. Okay, now we're clear down up here. We're just cutting back to the back there a little bit. I'll show it to you when it's all done. Alright, so we got done. And there's how we look. All done anyway. I know everything's nice and flat. And I'll mix it up. I'll take it out of here and we'll take it to the boring mill. And we'll do the other side. Alright, so here we are out by the in the boring room boring mill room, town, whatever. Uh, so I got my vise set up in here now. I put it on this big angle plate and I have a couple jacks and then I, I dialed it in across from this hole to that hole to zero and then I went around here and found out it's high someplace in in this area so that's where we're going to start and I'm just going to uh, bring it up close and then I'll use a piece of paper to go underneath this cutter and when it tears the paper I call that zero I don't know if that's right or wrong but that's what I do got uh, a four, four inch cutter and it's just wide enough or it's wide enough to do this whole surface so after we get this all smooth where we want it then we'll come down and we'll retouch this skim cut this surface so we know that this and this will be square with each other well that's what we're hoping for anyway hey we got set up we're pretty close here and yeah, I'm going to try to find a place to put the camera at so, uh, and we'll get started on this.
all the way across. Take a look here. Well, looks like it's making a pretty good pass. I'll have to do the whole thing and and see how it turns out. And if that ain't enough, I'll just have to keep going until I get him to clean up. Well, here's my vise. I've got it all finished up and painted up. There you can see where it was brazed, brazed together, because it was broke clear in half, right, right through there. I don't know, how do you, how does that happen? I don't know. But anyway, the jaws are uh, eight inches, eight inches wide, so it should make me a pretty good vice now. Turns free. Well, there's another project I can take off my list. It's done. Well, thanks to all my new subscribers, and uh, thanks for watching this video.